Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy December. I hope you guys are having a good month so far. I don't know why. I, I think I, I already talked about this in the video, but I feel like December is already over. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just me. I feel like it's all happening so fast. It happens every year. After Thanksgiving, it's just like, what, what? everybody just slow down, please. Just slow down. Anyway, you guys, today we're doing a holiday look. I have just been so inspired. I have like three different looks that I wanna do for holiday vibes. So I've got this holiday look for you guys today, but I'm also showing you how I cover up my breakouts. I was actually gonna film this video last night, but I felt so, I'm just gonna be honest with you, I just felt like not good. I felt not good. You know when your skin just kinda like flips out on you and it's just like, okay. That's what we're doing. But um, I really thought, you know what, let me just sit in front of the camera and show you guys how I cover up my breakouts. I was just kind of having a moment last night where I was just like pouty and overreacting a little, you know, a little bit. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Shall we? Let's get started, shall we? Are you guys liking this backdrop that I made? Is it cute or is it cute? All right, is my sound going? My sound's going, there's a plane. Can you hear that plane? It sounds alarmingly close. You guys, I started watching Gossip Girl. I've never watched it before, I know that's crazy, but I just kind of have it going in the background as I'm doing other things around the house or doing my makeup or whatever. I'm not fully paying attention. Are they in high school? I'm like so, <laughs> like there's no way this could all happen in high school, right? I don't know. I mean, I know it's fiction or whatever, but still I'm kind of just like, wait, is this really happening here? I'm actually going back to using Shape Tape as an eyeshadow base. I kind of go back and forth all the time. The P. Louise base has been a little bit too dry for me lately, so I'm kind of just going back to using concealer and I definitely just applied a healthy amount. This brush has been giving it to me lately. Anytime I see Real Techniques brush sets in the store, I don't know what it is. I feel like I have to buy it but it always ends up becoming a new favorite. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush. I use it for a few different things. This is one of them, but honestly, it just buffs out concealer so nicely. You can kind of stipple it like this, but you can also buff it if you want, if you desire, but I've been kind of using it to stipple. So the main palette I am gonna be using today is Karen's palette that she did with ColourPop. This is Through My Eyes. The perfect green shades that I was looking for are in here. So that's the main palette, but for transition colors, I really wanted to go with like a cool toned, surprise, I know, cool toned uh, color. So I'm dipping into like, this is the NARS Skin Deep eye palette. I'm gonna start with this shade here. So the reason I wanna do like more cool toned in the crease is because green can be like a tricky color if you blend it out at all. Depending on what the undertone is, it could either go really yellow or it could buff out really blue. So. I'm gonna be packing it on more so than blending it out. So that's why I'm kind of building up the crease with a cool tone first. So here we go. This is just basically giving myself a crease, a little bit more of a defined crease here. And then I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush and use this uh, darker color here. You never know which one's which. Sometimes they're in order, sometimes they're in reverse. I know this one's Coconut Grove, so this one must be Bali. NARS does have some of my favorite mattes. So I'm just gonna be tapping this in the crease, basically right above where I'm gonna be putting the green. Does anybody feel like Christmas just came out of nowhere? I already feel like Christmas is over. I don't know why, or if it's just because I'm not even done decorating yet, which I'm like, was I decorated before Thanksgiving last year? I honestly don't remember, but Thanksgiving is a week later this year, so it just makes me feel like all of a sudden it's freaking mid-December. I'm going to Denver with a few of my friends next week, and uh, I feel like when I get back, it's like Christmas Eve. Pretty much. We try and do a girls trip like once a year. Last year we went to Ojai. We just like to go and hang out, honestly, chill, sleep in, nothing crazy. But uh, this year we wanted to go to the snow. So we're going to Denver, I'm pretty excited. But I do feel like by the time I get back, it's basically gonna be Christmas and I'm still not even done decorating yet. All right, now it's time to go in with the green. I'm gonna be using Moody and Emerald Dream for this look. So I'm gonna take Moody and I'm gonna start packing it on like lightly buffing, packing. This is the Laura Mercier smudge brush. So I'm tapping it into Moody, tapping off any excess, and then I'm gonna start over here actually. Uh, anyway, back to Christmas or the holidays. This year I really wanted to do like a fun, I mean, I don't know if it's called vintage, but I wanted all my decor to feel, I basically wanted my house to feel like your grandma's house in like 1994. It was the vibe that I was going for in my living room. So I love the way it looks now. I have some stockings and I have some ornaments up and everything, but it's crazy. I was like looking for more green ornaments, but not bright green. 
I'm doing very like as if everything was covered in a layer of dust. It probably sounds so weird, but it's like a very dusty red and green and everything that I'm finding is like these colors, which I really like, but for the vibe that my tree has right now, like I couldn't, I can't find anything. It's so crazy and I need really big ornaments for my tree, but I don't know. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. Do you feel like the holidays have just come and gone already or is it just me? Should I zoom in a little bit more? I think that's better. Um, I had some body bronzer on and I feel like it was giving me an orangey moment. So I just went and took it off. I was like, um, this is not, this is not the vibe. All right, so I'm gonna continue packing on the shadow all over. Okay, so now for the winged out part, I'm like, I definitely have to pull the mirror back a bit. I want it to be like a little bit more smoked out. All right, just finished packing on the other eye. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just kind of clean up the edge so I know a little bit better what's going on. When you do this, I feel like for me, it's always easier to look straight into a mirror. Otherwise, <laughs> I'll be sitting sideways big time. So now I'm gonna come back in with that little brush that I had and just touch up the crease on my left side some more. And now that I have the green on, I really like to tap and blend lightly as opposed to doing like heavy buffing because I don't really want to buff the green up. It's so crazy. I feel like, did I, oh, I don't think I told you guys on here. Last video I filmed, we were in on my kitchen table, which by the way, thank you guys for all the support on that video. I don't know why I had so much like, uh, I was very nervous uploading that one. But since then I got rid of my other makeup desk that I had because it was just so not functional in the space. And I ordered these little white desks on Amazon and what a game changer it's already made. Like I feel so much more relaxed in here already. I have more light bouncing off of my desk than I did before. It's just smaller, it's easier for me to move and it's just, <sighs> I got two of them so I can kind of like switch them up. I have one sitting over there right now that has like all my daily stuff and then this is, has just my filming stuff on it. I'm just very, very happy with that decision. But I had drawers in my other desk and I moved all the stuff out of it and I feel like I'm still missing a lot of things. I will get it figured out eventually. So right now I'm just kind of filling in this inner corner area with some shadow, nothing really dark, just that lightest transition shade that I used here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more green over here. I'm kind of tapping it on. Are you guys excited about the new year? I kept wondering why people kept talking about moments of the decade. I'm like, why is everybody talking about the decade? Like it's this big change. And then I remembered that uh, it's a new decade happening. And I was like, wow, I get it now. Putting things into perspective for me. For some reason, like the years haven't really seemed to matter since the change of the millennium when it turned from the nineties to the two thousands. You guys remember that? When everybody thought like the, all the power was gonna go out and everything was just gonna shut down. But nonetheless, I am excited for the new decade. I'm excited for next year. Even though new year's resolutions, I've always thought were kind of like, well, why can't you just start something tomorrow instead of waiting for the new year? I do feel like it's kind of like restarting each day. For some reason, it's a more of a mental thing where you're like, you know what? I am gonna do this this year. And maybe it's just the boost that we need to like feel a reset. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens in the new year. John and I have some fun things planned and I'm just, you know, I'm just looking forward to it. Okay, so I'm taking Emerald Dream and I'm gonna start packing this on top of it. Now I haven't decided if I want to do glitter yet. I'm like, do I wanna do glitter? I do have this heavy metal Urban Decay glitter in stage dive and I'm like, do I wanna go there? Is that where we're going today? Cause once you go there, you can't go back. You know what I mean? I just pack a little emerald dream on here. It's such a pretty color. Do you guys make new year's resolutions? Maybe this would be an interesting podcast thing for John and I to talk about. Is it just goals that we had already existed in this year and we're just bringing to, oh, I like what that did. It brightened it up a lot. So what are you guys doing? Are you doing resolutions? Do you like sit down with anybody and go over your resolutions? Is it something super private that you do? Sometimes I'm like, man, maybe if I was just a Virgo, like I would do that. Cause I feel like Virgo, every Virgo that I know like has a planner, you know what I mean? I can't tell you guys how many planners I've purchased and never used past like a week, but I want to, I want to be that person really badly. What do you guys think of when you think of holiday eye looks? I automatically am just like gold eyeshadow, red lip, boom, that's it. And then it just turns into silver for the new year. Silver smoky eye with a new lip and that's it. Do you guys go full glam for a holiday? Do you? Besides New Year's, any other holidays do you go full glam? Ooh, oh, I'm liking this. Okay, let's try and pull this together now. I went ahead and put on some liner, just basic eyeliner, <laughs> eyeliner. 
I'm back to my Inglot 77 gel liner. I just tried and true, baby, tried and true. You know, I did just order a ton of new makeup. I think I might do a haul. Let me know if you guys are interested. It's not really a lot of color products, like eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that. It's a lot of like complexion, highlight, bronzer, kind of more basic type stuff. I was like, dang, I really need to get some new complexion products. Oh, wow, I just pinched my eye. That was cool. So I ordered a bunch of stuff. It should be here within the next couple days. So I think I'm gonna film maybe a haul for that if you guys are interested. Applying some mascara here. I'm wearing my Better Than Sex Waterproof because it keeps my lashes curled, heavily curled throughout the day. For my lashes, I'm using this pair, Gently Used. Um, these are the Lily Lashes in the style Ella, which I really, really like these. They're more of a winged out type shape. They're heavily trimmed and curled and they have a little bit of mascara on them. It's always nice like after the first time you wear a pair of lashes because they're kind of conformed to your eye shape already. Oh my gosh, somebody's here. I think it's my mom, probably with Taz. I love this style, especially this style um, of the Lily Lashes Ella ELA. I feel like it's a lot straighter. I don't know if my voice just cracked, let's just ignore that. I don't know if it's a lot straighter than the other Lily Lashes, but they definitely need to be curled, like 100%. <coughs> Pulled out one of my Celsius. This is a sparkling Fuji apple pear. I don't actually drink a lot of like energy drinks. This is the only one that I do have every once in a while. John's like super addicted to them now. Is that a Crando? Oh no, does that mean Taz is here? Oh, uh, yep. <laughs> come here, Taz. Oh, I got Turb. Turb, come say hi. Come say hi, Turb. Come say hi. Oh, do you see a little snoot? Hi, girl. Hi, Cran. How you doing? Good, you wanna come say hi? Are we on? We're on. <laughs> say hi, Taz. Say hi. <laughs> Normally she's wearing a Christmas sweater. I'm so disappointed. She could be part of my backdrop, right? Yeah. I really just did like a whole thing and I wasn't rolling the whole time. Sick. I just prepped the under eyes. That's what I did off camera. I thought I was on camera. I used a Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer, super lightweight. And I also prepped the rest of my face with it earlier. Full disclosure, I put on concealer before I started filming because sometimes you just gotta do something for yourself. So here's what's going on. Ow, it hurts. Underneath the concealer, I have a couple of breakouts here and I haven't broken out in a while uh, like this, like the deep under the skin, throbbing, painful. Shh. I woke up this morning and I was just like, okay, so that's what we're doing today. This just reminded me because they hurt so bad right now, it reminded me of the time when was I in my like early, I'm gonna put some of this on by the way while I'm talking, uh, in my mid, like mid, early mid 20s, I had very, very problematic skin. Um, I dealt with so many hormonal breakouts. This was before I started my YouTube channel. I was just like, oh my God, is this ever gonna go away? Cause it felt like it was like every day I just kept waking up with more and more and more. I, when I was in my mid twenties, I found a medication that worked really, really well for me. I've talked about it on my channel before, spironolactone. I took it in combination with um, the birth control pill, it worked really, really well for me for several years. And then eventually I just wanted to get off of all prescription medications. So that's what I did. <sighs> I wanna say it was two years ago. It might've even been longer now, but since I went off of everything, I was like, I just wanna see what my body does when I have nothing in my system. You know what I mean? Just me, my hormones. Um, and my skin actually improved a lot, which was surprising to me. I'll tell you, I was really scared to come off of everything. You might be surprised to hear that when I am dealing with breakouts like this, I actually like to use less coverage products um, just because I like my skin to breathe a little bit more. And I just think it looks better, honestly. Like it's gonna be there no matter what. So I tend to use thinner, more hydrating products rather than thicker, fuller coverage products. So this is what I like to use to cover my breakouts. This is my most ideal concealer at the moment. Um, this has actually been my conce favorite concealer for like the past year for this specific purpose. Um, and the reason is it's so like liquidy, but it blends into the skin so well that uh, I just find it to be a really great concealer for this. So if I were to use something like NARS um, Creamy Concealer, you would just see the concealer on my skin a lot more. It is a much more fuller coverage concealer. It also dries down a little bit more, which is great for this area here. But when I'm covering a breakout like this, I don't want it to enhance any dryness. Um, you know, a lot of, I stopped doing this, but I used to like basically try to attack my breakouts with fire. I would try to burn the shit out of them with like acids or medicine or something. I don't do that anymore because I have learned that that doesn't help. But um, thicker concealer, it's just a drier area, you know? So I try to not use thicker concealers like 
creamy concealer or shape tape. While I love them for other purposes for this, it doesn't really do what I need it to do. So this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. This is the shade 30, which tends to blend with my skin very, very well. Um, so I just put some of the primerizer on here and now I'm gonna tap on, I'm like, wait, I can't see here, some concealer here. I do a pretty decent layer because I know this concealer will blend out very nicely. Using that Real Techniques brush that I used on my lids, this is the Deluxe Crease, crease Brush. I like to tap very, very lightly, basically stippling this into my skin and kind of diffusing it outward. So I like to do this instead of buffing it in because when you buff it in, you tend to lose some of the coverage. So for this, this is kind of how I like to do this. And this is what exactly what I would do as well if I wasn't wearing any foundation because when I am um, breaking out more, I'd like to pull back on the face products. So then I just kind of buff out in a circle and diffuse the edges into the skin here. What a treasure. I just got some green eyeshadow on there. Maybe it'll color correct it a little bit, you know? And that is what I like to do. And this is what I, if I was leaving the house right now, I would just do a light layer of this, honestly, like all over, kind of neutralize my face. And then this one here, oh God, this mother effer hurts. I also dealt with problematic skin in high school, but it was a whole different type of acne than what I had when I was in my 20s. All right, I guess this is like a little bit of a sneak peek into some of the stuff that I bought because I just really wanted to use it today. Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I mean, I've already had this before. This is in the shade two. So I'm gonna apply this here. Wow. I remember I actually used to use this as a foundation. Like not regularly, but I did a few times. Wouldn't that be nice? So I'm gonna apply this here. A lot of times when I am breaking out, I typically don't use a lot of highlighter products. I just shy away from it. And because it tends to enhance texture, um, I actually haven't used, been using highlighters super often at all lately, but can I get a brush, please? Um, I really wanted to use this today, and that's that. So now I'm just gonna buff this out with a brush before I apply my foundation. This will just add a nice glow to the skin. All right, now for my foundation. Um, this is the Armani Luminous Silk. I wanna use something a little bit thinner and a little bit lighter coverage uh, for most of my face. And then, I mean, I typically tend to do very full coverage under eyes, so. And this is a Bare Minerals Smoothing Face Brush. I'm gonna try this one out and see how I feel. Start over here. Oh, God, I already forgot. <laughs> so now I'm just kind of stippling in around the breakout zone. And then again, right over here, kind of tap it on because we don't want to completely ruin, like I just buffed it in there because I basically forgot um, the concealer that we already applied. So when I want to cover more, I'll typically do a layer of concealer, foundation, and then if I need to, I'll go back in with concealer again. I'm gonna take some concealer from NARS, this is Honey. I'm gonna apply this here to color correct. This is one of my favorite um, shades from NARS to color correct. It has a really nice salmon-y undertone just for some of the darkness here. Since I did not pre-conceal, I used to pre-conceal under, but I've kind of stopped doing that since my a lot of my melasma went away. Um, once, I mean, I can't conclude 100% that it was from this, but I'm pretty sure it's from stopping taking the pill. Remember I used to have like the dark ring right there? All right, so I'm gonna tap that out. And now I'm gonna go in and brighten. I'm gonna go in with shade number nine from Dose of Colors. This is definitely gonna brighten up here. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like sitting on my leg now. I'm gonna regret this 100%. I'm gonna use the Pat McGrath um, powder. I love this powder. I just ordered this one not too long ago. This is the shade Light One. It has a little bit more of a pinky undertone, which I love for under the eyes. And I take this. This concealer has me like, ooh, right now. But I just love how this powder melts into the skin. I think it's such a good product. It's like, why am I getting so antsy right now? I think it's my drink. I'm gonna go ahead and stop drinking it even though it tastes really good. Um, now I'm gonna gel down my brows with the L'Occitane soap. Still using this several years later, the um, Extra Gentle Milk Soap. Such a good brow gel and it also makes your brow hair look thicker, which is like the best part. All right, let's remove this powder. All right, now bronzer. I'm gonna start with Shady Biz. I feel like this will be a good color. Let's start here. Fenty Beauty, give it to me. Oh, this is getting better. This is good. Let me, I'm gonna use this tiny brush actually, which is probably like, looks crazy. 
gonna bring this lightly. The only reason I'm okay with bringing this into my contour is because my blemish is down here. If it was up here, I would literally just go right here. I try to not layer any products on top of blemishes because it can easily highlight them. Woo, you guys, I cannot wait to get my extensions out. They come out on Tuesday. We'll let my hair breathe for a little bit. And then I'm going solid dark, which I, you know what? I love the bronze that's happening right now. Obviously my hair hasn't been toned in a while, which when you're platinum and then you go darker and darker, the, the color comes out a lot quicker because your hair is so light underneath. But um, since I'm not bleaching my hair, I just feel like my, my hair, my natural color has grown out too much. And I think it'll be weird. It'll be like from here down is bronze. So I'm gonna go back to solid dark hair. She's coming back full circle. Wow, you guys, I think this color is really good. This color bronzer. It's not too strong. It's not giving me like an insane bronzer helmet. This is in the arsenal now. So now I'm gonna take this brush, which I've been loving. This is in the set, that Real Techniques set, double shadow brush. And I'm gonna use this right here. I might even go in with like a cool tone shadow right here. Actually, if this feels too warm, but it's looking okay. Oh my God, why did I drink that? I literally can't breathe right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go into my NARS palette and I'm just gonna take a little bit of this shade, tap off the excess and come right in here. And then just bring it down. Now for blush, I definitely want like a barely there kind of blush because we have the bright greenish ish eyeshadow on. Um, I definitely want it to like kind of more blend into the skin. So I'm gonna be mixing. I feel like I'm gonna laugh every time I use this now. This is Warm Soul from MAC. The reformulated one, I just watched Samantha's video on her favorite products that were discontinued and listening to her talk about Warm Soul was pretty hilarious. I actually don't think I ever used the original Warm Soul. So I don't even know what I'm missing, which I think is probably better Better for me in the long run. Although I do wish that I had the original one. I feel like her and I are very similar in the blush category. So I thought that was funny. Now I'm gonna laugh every time I use this. Part of me wanted to use this one, but I'm actually gonna change my mind. I do love this one from MAC. This is New Romance, but it's definitely more of like a light pink and a lot more of a sheen to it. And now that I'm looking at it, I feel like that's not what I want right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it at this. And now I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take some of the emerald green color. Oh my gosh, I totally just realized I didn't do the glitter. I really like the way it looks without it. I feel like you could definitely just pile it on top, but I kinda like this. But okay, I'm gonna take some emerald dream, that same Laura Mercier brush, and I'm gonna smudge into the lower lash line. Definitely gonna have to add a waterline color here to kinda get this to all melt together. I'm gonna use another smudger brush. This one's a Sigma E21 with Moody. Bring it right up into the lash line here. I feel like I need to go for a run. I feel like I need to go sprint. Take a black pencil. This is from NARS. All right, I just decided I want an under brow highlight. Like, let me have one, you know? If I had MAC Nylon, I'd use it. Um, this is the Jouer Concealer in the shade Cream. Just, you know what I mean? I deserve a little bit of a brow lift here. I really wanted to use this Too Faced lipstick that I just started using, and of course I can't find it. I think the shade is like Doll Face. It's like one of the matte lipsticks. It's such a good, like really light, cool toned, nude-ish lipstick. God, I'm so mad I can't find it. Like where, oh yes, lift. All right, switched it up. I'm using Dime from Dose of Colors, which I think is a really good cool toned lip liner. And lipstick, I'm gonna try out this one. This is fairly old, but this is the Kylie Matte Lipstick in the shade Naked. I really wanted just like a naked lipstick today and I can't find that one from um, Too Faced. So I'm gonna try this one out. I'm just gonna apply a little bit, tap it out with my finger for like a more light application. I'm gonna throw on a tiny bit of gloss because I need it. This is Dose of Colors Honey I'm Home. Oh. Mm, mm hmm Cute. That was it. That was the one. All right, you guys, I think I'm done. Am I done? It's only been like three hours. Am I sure that I'm done? I just had to pause 
first of all, change the batteries in here because the batteries I think were dead the entire time. I just realized I left those lights on all night in my little tree. Also, I was so caffeinated, I had to go chug some water. Like I really, that's the thing with Celsius. It tastes so good that you could just down it really easily. There's no like pausing. Can I just say this lip combination is fire. I am so glad I just went and rediscovered this Kylie matte lip, but also this really warmed it up a little bit. I think this is maybe a little bit too cool on its own. And then the Dose lip gloss like just brought it home for me. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. Um, this holiday green, I really like the way this turned out without the glitter, but you could always add glitter on top of this and take it to the next level. But I think it looks pretty just like this. I love how the shimmery color really brightened up the lid. I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with my tiny fists right here, but I love how that happened. All right, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know about the haul if you guys would like to see the haul. I have a lot of the stuff sitting here. My Ulta package is supposed to get here tomorrow. And then I did order some stuff from Flower Beauty, but I haven't even gotten confirmation yet. So I feel like that one's gonna take forever. I'm probably not even gonna include it in the haul. But let me know if you guys would like to see that. I have a gift guide coming. I'm super excited about the holidays, even though I feel like it's already over. <laughs> I don't know why, or maybe it's just in my head or because I'm leaving next week for a few days, but I hope you're having a great December so far and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. There's nothing more awkward than signing out of a video. I don't know why, because I'm not actually going anywhere. I'm sitting right here. Junie. Down below, if you know. Cute. That was horrible. I'm so sorry you had to experience that. Cute, 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 cute. No thanks, Mike. Cool story, bro.